Kyrie Irving and LeBron James were perfectly suited to play together. Turns it over. James keeps his dribble somehow. Irving back to James. Oh, he throws it down. Irving throws it up to James, who throws it down. Kyrie Irving had his best year, obviously, with LeBron. Irving the drive, back to James. Cavaliers lead, and a foul. But he batted it right to LeBron James. Irving alley up and throws it down. Alley up to James. LeBron James and Kyrie Irving have shown the ability in the very recent past to get it done. Irving off the back James. The three ball for Cleveland today has been sensational. But their ball move. Oh. Oh, 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 another from way downtown. LeBron James loves it. Kyrie and the way he plays, he is an elite scorer. An unstoppable scorer that you can't double team, especially if there's a Bron or somebody else on the team. So, yes, that type of score pairs up great with Bron. Irving gets past Drummond. Does he hold on to his pivot foot? I guess so, as James banks it in. You put LeBron and Kyrie together, that's a really good team. Kyrie Irving with a steal, three on one. Alley up to James. Beautifully executed off another fine defensive play. Irving's clear path to the basket. Layup, he missed it. James on the follow. When you win a championship, when you do something special, you create a bond with that player for life. They did something special in Cleveland that'll never get forgotten. Iguodala to Curry, back to Iguodala, up for the layup, oh, blocked by James, LeBron James with the rejection. Irving and Curry, one-on-one, -on -one. Irving puts it up, it's good, Kyrie Irving from downtown, it's over. Cleveland is a city of champions once again, the Cavaliers are NBA champions. And here's LeBron, was an emphatic stuff behind Curry on that last play. Oh. Almost like they play together. All time with Kyrie again. It was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. Anytime you get to get back, you know, playing one of your old teammates. Kyrie Irving doesn't want to be LeBron James' little brother. He doesn't want to be LeBron James' sidekick. The deal is agreed to Kyrie Irving to the Boston Celtics. Their relationship is why Kyrie wanted to leave. Did you speak to LeBron James or talk to LeBron James before you, before you and your representatives? met with ownership and let them know what you wanted out. Huh. Why not? Why would I have to? He called up LeBron. Why did you make the phone call? It takes a very, very strong individual to, you know, replay a lot of the experiences that you've had. And yeah, apologizing, that was a, a step for me just to move forward in my life. Kyrie has had discussions about reuniting with LeBron on the Lakers. Would Kyrie going to the Lakers be a good move? It will never happen. <laughs> it will never, ever, ever happen. From what I'm told, it's not going to happen. I don't see Kyrie going to L.A. and just falling back in line. But if you're Kyrie, you already asked to leave from playing with LeBron. You go to Boston, it seems like a turnkey situation that should work. It does not work. Right. It kind of looks like you go back crawling to LeBron. I believe Kyrie Irving should, and I think he will, sign in L.A. The more I look at this, the more I think Kyrie's going to be a Laker. I think Kyrie and LeBron could come around in their own minds to seeing a reconciliation as, hey, what if Kobe and Shaq worked it out? I would tell you that if he ended up in L.A. with LeBron, it would be formidable. I think it would make them Final Four in the Western Conference. LeBron and Kyrie need to be friends with benefits. <laughs> just, being friends, just being friends is not enough. It's not enough because I, I tell you what the benefits are. The benefits are a legitimate chance to win a championship. If Kyrie goes to the Lakers, the pairing of, of LeBron and Kyrie will elevate the Lakers back to where they belong, will elevate Kyrie back into the kind of player we imagine he can be, and will save the end of LeBron James his career.